On this episode, we're going to discuss something that I just recently learned about and was actually kind of surprised on. It seems that sound moderators for pellet guns are not illegal, or I should say don't require the federal taxes and all of that. So, I dug out my old Daisy 822 pellet gun, the things from the late 1970s, early 1980s. And since I have a 3D printer, I 3D printed a sound modulator, or, or a silencer as they're known as, which they really don't make guns silent, but they do make pellet guns a little more silent. Um, I'll put a link to the 3D printable diagram, or STL file. So if you want to make one yourself, you will note that um, the one that's online is a little bit different, but it comes with the SCAT file. The diameter for the barrel was different from the diameter on the gun that I've got, so I ended up having to load up the SCAD file and modify the diameter of the barrel and print, print one that would fit my gun. So this is the old rifle that I've got, the old pellet gun. It is a 22 caliber pump pellet gun. It shoots somewhere between seven and 900 feet per second velocity coming out of the muzzle. So the pellet does come out with some velocity. We'll get this opened up. So off to the side here. All right. So first thing I'm gonna do, since this gun has a front sight on it, and this unit is designed to go on with a clamp, slots on the end here. They don't quite go far enough down the barrel so that the barrel covers that spot. So what I'm, I bought some electrical tape and I'm just going to wrap a little bit of electrical tape around it just like that around the edge. Work as a gasket so to speak. I bought a hose clamp. I'm just using my multi-tool here to crank it down a little close to the size of that end. Since I wasn't going to take the silencer into a hardware store and ask the guy to find a hose clamp that would fit that. Crank that down a little bit more. There we go. Now, we're going to fit that right over the end of this rifle. And now I'm going to screw it down tight. see how that works. Oh. Oh. Close that and not bad. That was very quiet compared to what it usually sounds like. This is what this little uh, pellet gun sounds like without the sound moderator on it. The biggest reason that I chose to bring this is I'm going to see if I can sight it in and pop squirrels out by the feeder without disturbing anything. So how well did this 3D printed sound moderator work? Not bad. It does the job, but it does have some issues. Um, I've got the original SCAD file for this, so I can go in and mod it, and I probably will and put the new design on. So this particular rifle, this front sight is integrated into, which means I've really only got a little bit of space here at the end that I can mount it on. That space is not enough. If you watch, this will wiggle. I've got maybe a quarter of an inch, maybe a little over a quarter, three eighths possibly. The problem that came about, let's see, yeah, I pretty much shot out the end of it eventually. So initially it was working great, and the longer it went, the more wiggle occurred, the more wiggle that occurred, the more it shot out the end, and the less it worked. So 
All in all, I probably need to tighten the hole down on the end here so that it fits tighter. And I may extend that throat a good uh, three centimeters or so and put a notch in it wide enough to fit this so that the whole thing slides down over this front sight and you can then lock it in place up here and back here. It's worth playing with. I quite enjoyed shooting. The other problem that I had with this is that this pellet gun at the range I was shooting does not keep a good enough pattern. It's not accurate enough at the range I was at. Um, the feeder is about 50 yards out from the back of the cabin. The squirrels were at the feeder. Um, I went out in front of the cabin midday, set up a little paper target and took some shots. And it seems that at 50 yards, this thing is actually keeping a pattern of roughly 8 to 12 inches. And of course, a squirrel is smaller than that. So I've got a regular 22 at the house that I'll bring out after deer season. It keeps a quarter inch pattern at 50 yards and will work perfect for taking those little buggers out.